I've got this feeling deep within my mind. Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and I'm fixing dinner tonight, and I wanted to bring y'all along and show you how I make mashed potatoes. Um, I'm sure that there are some people out here, the younger, the younger generation and the, well, I don't know, I guess some men that their wife has left them or whatever, or they've left their wife and they don't know how to fix mashed potatoes, so I'm going to show y'all how I fix mashed potatoes. All right, now I've got a pot here, and I've got seven pretty large potatoes in here because I'm going to fix these for dinner tonight, and then I'll have them tomorrow and Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow and Sunday. So let's get these peeled. I'm going to show you how I peel them, what I do, exactly what I do with these. All right, let me get this over here. All right, so I'm going to take my potato out, and I have my potato peeler. This is a tea fowl. I've got all different kinds. I've got a Farberware, whatever it is. This just happens to be a tea fowl one. And I take my potatoes and I go down just like this. I'm really picky. I don't even know if y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see. Um, let me move this out some and move y'all out some. Okay. All right. Oh. There. All right, so I take my potato peeler and I start, and you can see it, I start right here and go down. I was just saying this the other day in a video. I've seen people that take their potato peelers and go up this way. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it that way. But then I had one woman say that her daughter was could do it that way and was really quick at doing it. But I'm not. I've got to go down this way. And I'm real picky. I don't like any um, black spots or spots on my potatoes. See, like right there's one. And that's got to go. It's got to go off of here. <laughs> I just, I don't like them. I'm really, I guess, OCD about that. That's probably why I get big potatoes. And by the time I finish peeling them, there's nothing left. Because, um, see, now there's a spot right there. And I have to get that off. So, I just am picky about that. I don't like any spots on my potatoes. I've seen people that will have black spots on, out on their potatoes, but not me. Nope, nope, nope. All right. And then I just do this with all the potatoes, get the peeling off of all of them. See, that's a, a black, that was a black spot right there, and I had to make sure that I had that off. to go and wash these and get my knife and my cutting board and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so here's my potatoes. I've got them, I've rinsed them off. This is the one that I cut in half because of that bad place. There's nothing else on it. Um, I am going to slice these and then go 
rinse the water out, rinse them again. I always rinse them after I peel them and then rinse them before I um, put them in the water to cook them in. So I'm going to slice these. I used to use a, um, let me move this over here. I used to use a, a little, what's it called? Um, oh, I can't even think now. The, the little knives or whatever. I used to peel my potatoes with those, but I just can't, since I got used to the potato peeler, I can't do that anymore. And I really can't <laughs> cut them up like I used to. Utility knife? No, it was not. I don't know. I can't think of the knife. I'll think of it tonight when I'm almost asleep. <laughs> so I just slice these all up, and then I'm I will cook these on my new wave until they are fork tender, and then I'll show you what else I do with that, and. I make the well. I think I did. My grandma made unless my grandma made the best mashed potatoes of anybody, and I guess I'm second <laughs> second best to her um, because she taught me how to make them. But mine will never taste like hers, and I do nothing different. She put nothing else in hers that I don't. I, I just don't know what, why I can't ever get them to taste the same as my grandma's did. But, all right, I'm going to go on and slice the, finish slicing these up. Y'all don't have to sit here and watch me do that anymore. I'm going to sit here and slice them up, and then I'm going to go rinse them off, and I'll bring y'all back, and I'll show you what I do to cook them. Okay, y'all. All right, so this is on my new wave. I've got it. Well, you can see the water is covering it. I don't know, two inches. I'm not. A, I don't know my measurements good or whatever, but it's totally covering it. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to put about a. This is kosher salt, and you always want to salt your potatoes as if it's salt water. So that was a good tablespoon I gotta fill my salt bowl up now but um you always want to to salt your potatoes as if it was like the sea like the sea water or whatever all right and now this is on my new wave induction cooktop I'm going to hit sear and then start and it takes an induction cooktop a while to come up to a boil and once they do come up or when I think that they they might get, get be done just from where they're like simmering or, or whatever on this cooktop but anyway I'll bring you back when I get ready to um, I'll drain them and then I'll bring y'all back and show you what I'm gonna do with them okay I'm gonna show you the um, way to tell if your potatoes are done which mashed potatoes um, I like mine pretty soft when I do this so you just push your fork down in there and if your fork see how it's they're just it's going right down in there and it's breaking the potatoes up that means that your potatoes are done and what I'm going to do right now is um, because I if you don't know I'm disabled I'm in a wheelchair and I cook my food in here this is my dining room and I cook my food at my dining room table so I'm going because I, the stove if I use my stove sitting in a wheelchair you can't see your food so here I'm above this and so I can see it and I'm gonna cut this off I'm going to take this into the kitchen. I'm going to drain this. I'm going to put it in my bowl and then I'll come right back and show y'all how I make my mashed potatoes. Okay, y'all. All right, so I'm, here's my potatoes. I put, I drained them, I put them in this bowl. Now I'm putting in a whole stick of butter. A whole stick, and I may put even more in, in there. I'm, 
with all the, this was seven potatoes. So this was right many potatoes to put in here with this, um, you know, with just one stick of butter. I right, remember how I was telling y'all about my the spots. See, there's still spots even on the potatoes, even after I got every made every sure made sure everything was off. Okay, now and I use this. This is my potato masher. A lot of people, my daughter likes to use the mixer. All right, now I'm going to put milk in here. And I'm going to start off with, that was about a fourth of a cup. And I'm going to take my masher and hopefully get these mashed. Okay, there you go. All right. Now it's going to take more milk because I didn't have enough milk. I knew it was going to be more than that. I would say... Let's see, there's about another half, I would say a good three-fourths of, that might, I might have just put too much in there. Let's see, I hope not. No, I still got to get them. Remember I told y'all it's getting harder and harder for me to, do stuff anymore. Well, mashed potatoes is evidently is one of them. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it did take about a three-fourths of a cup. Let me get a spoon out of here and go around and get all the potatoes up. And I, I like my potatoes um, with clumps in it, whatever you say. <laughs> I like them like this way better than I like them in the mixer. Let me get my fork and taste these. Oh, wow. The salt in them is absolutely perfect. All right, I'm going to put some pepper in here. Now, when I was going to tell you that I did use rusted potatoes, They are the ones I think are the best for mashing. Okay. All right, I'm going to get everything together and put it on my plate, and I will bring y'all back. Let me go on and taste these for y'all again. Oh my gosh, these are mm, 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 amazing. Mm. All right, y'all, so let me bring you back. Um, and if you the mashed potatoes, this is the it for the mashed potatoes. And I hope that you learned how to make some creamy mashed potatoes. Like I said, if you like them really, really creamy, you can use a mixer and do it like that. But I don't. I like mine kind of, you know, it's got little pieces of potato in there. You can, should be able to see this, let me zoom you in some so you can hopefully see. The little the little pieces of potato or whatever. So I hope you like this video. 
If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Instagram, and I hope this helps you. If you don't know how to make mashed potatoes, you can see how easy it is. It really is easy. All I use is a stick of butter, and now this was, that's depending on how many potatoes you peel or whatever and so you put the amount of butter you want to in there you put the amount of salt you and you put the amount of pepper I'm going I can already tell this is gonna have to have some more pepper in it so look below for links to my um, to also to things that I have um, used in my kitchen and it'll the, the links are to things that you can purchase at Amazon and I hope you have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.